In 1905, Einstein published a paper on what is now known as special relativity. The theory of special relativity basically comprises of two postulates, or I guess assumptions, and from these two postulates you get some really cool results, one of which is that nothing can be absolutely simultaneous. Okay, so what were these two postulates? The first is that the laws of physics are the same in every frame of reference. To understand this, we kind of need to know what a frame of reference is. A frame of reference is a coordinate system plus a time scale. So, you might use the Cartesian basis, x, y, z, and time t. But another way of thinking about a frame of reference is if you think about all the information you'd need to know if you were trying to meet a friend. You'd have to tell them where you'll meet them and at what time. So, you might meet them in Piccadilly Circus at 3pm. Your coordinate system is kind of whereabouts you are in relation to London, and your time scale is using GMT. The second postulate is that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same in all frames of reference and is independent of the source. That's a bit of a mouthful, but it's basically saying that, in an inertial frame of reference, however fast the source of light is moving, it won't change the speed of the light. So, if you have a really speedy torch, and a torch that's still, the speed of light coming out of both of them is the same. By the way, an inertial frame of reference is kind of hard to define without going in a full circle and using the words inertial frame of reference, because an inertial frame of reference is one which moves with a constant velocity with respect to other inertial frames of reference. It's not accelerating. I think the easiest way to describe it is by saying it's basically a frame of reference where Newton's laws of motion hold. Okay, now the cool stuff about things not being simultaneous. Imagine I'm on a really, really fast train, and you're stood on the platform watching me. Suddenly, just as you're stood in the middle of the train, lightning strikes points A and B. Inside the train, I move towards the light coming from the front of the train, and away from the light coming from the back of the train. I see the light from the front of the train first, so I believe that the lightning hit the front of the train first. You see the lightning hit the two points at the same time, so you believe that the lightning hit the two ends of the train simultaneously. So, who's right? Both wavefronts reach you at the same time. You're standing midway between the front and the back of the train. Light travels at velocity c, so you know the lightning strikes were simultaneous. You know they happened at the same time. But both wavefronts reach me at different times. I sit midway between A and B. Light travels at velocity c in my frame of reference, the train, too. So, I know the lightning strikes were not simultaneous. So, which of us is right? The answer is, both of us and neither of us. Each of us are correct within our own frame of reference. Because neither of our frames of reference are any better or worse than other, there's no basis for saying that either you or me are correct in our assertion. But what really happened? This question is meaningless. It makes no sense. Given Einstein's postulates, there must be a different reality in each frame. How cool is that? <laughs>